Good morning everyone, we are going to watch another Thrones game from the World Cup. It's the final game between China and Slovenia, so it's Super Duck against Katya. And, uh, well, pressure is on him because uh, China is 4-3 behind, so they need to win this one to force that uh, decider, that uh, extra game between the two champions. So we'll see if uh, he can do it, or if we can close here. Um, we're just waiting for Kati to join, so we can have a look at uh, the deck. So we are going to play Dark Prince. Deck that's been losing not just for our team, but for everyone in this tournament pretty badly. Mm, it's a Dothraki deck, of course, you name Karl Drogo, it's the core version in this one. China played the other version uh, yesterday, actually. And uh, the plan is a little bit of aggro with uh, Fury and Vanquish there. And uh, then you have First Snow as well to clear the Chads away. March, of course, stable in this. There's the Maiden, there's the Harris, and there's the Mother, which uh, I guess you played after First Snow should get you some cards. And yes, we have uh, overwhelming numbers, of course. We have Consuming Flames, so can't be completely safe against Burn, although yeah, the Knights usually have... Uh, quite a bit of strength and the characters is pretty obvious there is uh, Aegon as the restricted card to fetch cards like Raiding Kalasar and uh, Tyrell, well, just a second okay, we'll have Sarah joining us I'm just going over the Tyrell deck um, this is, uh, yeah, probably the best <laughs> white book deck we have in the tournament because basically everyone copied uh, Super Duck's deck when uh, it did well, particularly in online worlds two years ago. So uh, this is very typical. It plays nothing crazy in the plots. I think it has identical plots that we have in our deck with political disaster. Maybe not that impactful here, but King in the North could be. It's stops Womb, stops Plaza, so that's uh, annoying. Plays White Swords. The Harris is the reset. And there's a few interesting thing. So, first of all, the annoying draw, Old Town and Hollow Hill, means that uh, never run out of cards, really, and even if something finds its uh, its way in the discard pile, you just uh, play it with White Swords, and then you have the Knights, and uh, here we have uh, two Bagging Brothers, which could be tricky if they're in play when you want to trigger Aegon, that could be annoying, and we have Ghost, you can look at the hand, get rid of that uh, overwhelming numbers or whatever. And yes, uh, nothing weird in terms of characters. Gaird Morgan is here. I mean, he usually is not in these decks, but okay, in this one he is. So they've started. Let's join it and see what happens. Maybe we get lucky. Yes. So Katya gives her hand, and um, uh, he actually took the mulligan and no Econ, which is good. But... Um, Marjorie is here already. Mm. That's not us. And I assume now Marjorie is going to take this army into the <laughs> Indric challenge or something. Oh no, so he goes second and has Baristan, of course. <laughs> of course. Now he's going to be saving Marjorie. Now yeah. let's get a Jogo, right? Jogo and another Blood Rider. <laughs> I mean, the aggro is so hopeless if you get this, and Super Duck gets Baris, and I mean, it's it's what he does. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think you, you kind of need to be able to stealth him if you want to do any type of aggro. Well, he can't survive in play with Marjorie when the Harris is revealed, so... But yeah, if you do Harris now, <laughs> that's basically your... I mean, for the rest of the game, Martel just plays out stuff in turn, so... And yeah, we need another Blood Rider if you want. Okay, so there's another Blood Rider, so he... If the boom hits that guy, which is not the most unlikely, <laughs> there is stealth and there is two claim and everything is duped, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> but everything is <I> dead. <laughs> well, I guess the best you can do is then uh, just to clear the dupes. Yeah, I think... Maybe early to Harris is now the way to go, but you don't want to spend the Harris too early, right? For um, yeah. yeah, then we we'll get the uh, icon as and well. The... We we'll get um, the most for the white book for Taylor standards, I think. Yeah, after the Harris, we get another uh, white swords, I think, and then 
slowly into Turney. Uh, have to kind of uh, also wait for for snow to pass. Maybe I mean, if you're going to do former champion and green apple knights in your knights package, then for snow can still disrupt uh, a possible Turney win. Yeah. Although this deck resists so, so for Red well. players with like red wings traits and then play uh, turn um, bounty as well and still say that they have no weapon. <laughs> and I got one King's Road in Baratheon and I'm really happy about it. <laughs> yeah. Mm, so there's a pinch in Shadows uh, cards and there's Mand and Moore and there's Robert Strong. So that's, I think, well... That's brilliant. <laughs> okay. Well, you might as well pass here, I think. Or may do an intrigue challenge. You can do an intrigue that forces Marjorie. I mean, you could do intrigue with two because Hollow Hill and Old Town are not in play. You can mm -hmm. try to attack the hand and you yourself are over reserve, so you don't care that much. Or just get her to kneel, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Definitely don't. Well, power... Yeah. Okay, power with one. So if Barrison stands here, he's not going to stand on the military. But he actually will stand on the military because if, if you defend the losing challenge, you can save Marjorie and stand him. Although there is two claims, so maybe you don't want that. Yeah, so he's going to then defend the military. Well, that puts power on the faction card and honestly doesn't do any huge damage. Yeah, now I think military is completely pointless to do. I think intrigue is the way to go. Maybe get Marjorie to near. Mm, I wouldn't like that. Yeah, that. Nah. That's, That's not, not even good. two claims, so. I mean, even former champion can defend. Yeah, but why? <laughs> it doesn't matter. I mean, he can defend and. Uh, that's it, right? Can and then Barristan can also attack. Barristan can attack twice anyway with Marjorie in place. So, I mean, yeah, uh, the, you can do it whichever way you like. It's uh, yeah, it's going to trigger wide book on defense and then attack with former champion. The only question really here now is whether he's going to defend with Marjorie or attack back with Marjorie. Considering he doesn't need to clear the way to win other challenges with Marjorie, he might just defend the hand because, yeah. I mean, if there's another King's Guard in hand, then it doesn't really matter, you're fine. But if, if there's uh, something like the Hollow Hill to defend, I would defend it. I mean, yeah. And if you don't attack now, she's just gonna pull that Eerie into a, a intrigue challenge, win anyway, and then do two challenges back that are also about winning. So I think you have to go for it. Yeah, I think the better play was just to do intrigue with both, as at least achieve something. Mm -hmm. Could have also attacked power with absolutely everyone. Um, because then you can't successfully defend and you either wait something or the agenda triggers, I guess. Yeah, but with no power on the faction card, why would you want to? I mean, you get Karl Drogo in hand, I don't know. I suppose so. But you're over reserve anyway and uh, the icon's not super but, brilliant but anyway. But there's Missanda in hand. <laughs> oh, there is Missanda in hand, okay, okay. Good, good to know. <laughs> Okay, so he's not going to stand, right? So Karasar yeah, can defend former mm. champion. Okay, defends this one. 
can kill Iriden, I guess. Farmer Champion's power is not going to stay on him, probably, in this game. Although, why not defend military successfully instead? Well, now Baristan will stay if you do Harris, I think, because he's already started to gain power on him. Mm, but yeah, I would not want to do Harris early. this early. Maybe this Dark Dex should really play pointy end for all the dupes. Ah, there you go. Okay. Yes. Okay, so why? Why do this? Why not just attack with Farmer Champion? I mean, now the Harris is taking this guy away, right? And with yeah, but honestly, if you play the Harris this early, I think it's like a minor victory already. But it means over White Sword, so you can't uh, just White Sword another one in after the Harris resolves, and um, you have to do Harris before first now, right? Because if you first now the the little knights away, they get remarshaled, so. And kill certainly more, okay, so that's going to put the other one into hand. Mm. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure about this either, actually. Try this to do Harris. But I would wait at least another round. It's not like he's going to turn you now. It's gonna be Maiden. Yeah, it's going to Maiden, keep former champion and Baristan. And I mean, if you do the Harris now, I think you have to wait another round. He's not, he's not going to win next if, round. If you win, if you wait another round, then he will play Maiden here, and then he will white swords into the Harris. Sure, I mean. I mean yeah, okay, he's going to white swords later anyway, so. Yeah. Going to white swords after the Harris, it's the same thing, right? Yeah, he can also, I mean, if he wants, if he's prepared to lose the power, he could not keep Baristan because his dupe goes to the discard pile to be replayed. If he wants to keep Marjorie instead, I don't know. The problem is Marjorie doesn't stay in play for the Harris with two, char two other characters, just with one. And if she goes, then Baristan's save ability is no longer relevant and then you might run into some claim problems, I guess, in theory. I don't know how worried he is. With four cards in hand, I guess, he could have... Uh, but if he didn't have much, then he wouldn't have uh, played this high tower knight, needlessly, I think, so. Vanquish into Maiden, okay. Okay. So Septalemor wasn't going to survive this. Maybe that's why she was taken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no power on the faction card. You could usually go second in this situation even, but with Marjorie in play that really sucks, unfortunately. And Threat of Pinch as well now. Although they're not very pinchable, the, the truck is. Yeah, I mean, the one guy goes back to hand that is going to come in with the wound. And then this, um, the truck blood rider, devoted blood rider, barely worth pinching. And these armies have no attachment, so I suppose. And I you have something like Kyle Drogo now in. Should be. Whatever. Mm, I don't Okay, Kohola marshaled. Kohola can be pinched, but we now have Intimidate, which is good if we can push challenges through. Yeah, that's a bit of um, nightmares in Super Dark's deck, and then he has King in the North. King in the North will stop Kohola and Womb for a round. That's going to be really bad. Yeah, that's uh, one plot I was looking at ahead of the game that I thought, okay, this really sucks for us. Okay, so he's kept uh, the gold for Ambush and Shadows this time. So this is Robert Strong gold. Yeah. 
Uh, doesn't have high tower spies actually, super duck. Okay, but we do get Jogo, which is good. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but you can put everyone in the military and then Robert Strong comes in and kills one and... Okay. Well, yeah, but still... Oh yeah, he can defend then. Too strong, probably. Unless there's also overwhelming numbers in hand, there's uh, some... Imagine overwhelming numbers and then you put this raid in Kalazar in as well. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good. Let's do that. <laughs> Well, it's the best play you can make now is Robert Strong coming out. Superdax still hasn't played out a draw location, uh, so mm -hmm. he's down to those five oh, cards. Yeah. He can spend Robert Strong and then he hey, gets to Harris. What is the strength on him? On who? Sir Robert Strong. Eight. Is it eight? Yeah. So it would be 17. So if we have... Um, yeah, we have nine. Although nine, and then we have four. Yeah, we would need overwhelming numbers for sure if it's Sir Robert Strong. However, if it's um, if it's just some um, high tower spies, that could be good for us. He's not playing high tower spies. Oh, he's not. Okay, then it's Sir Robert Strong for sure. <laughs> Well, if he can't defend it, he's going to suffer three claim, which means he can take the dupes and form a champion. I mean, it's not the worst problem okay. in the world, honestly, for him. But okay, at least this kind of... To intimidate, I think we should. Yeah, mm. don't. He's there to go into another challenge, I guess, but I don't know which one. Well, that's kind of uh, something achieved now with the dupes gone. They are a little bit more exposed. The problem is, I think, uh, Super Duck will always make sure he has characters to absorb this happening again. But if he had Robert Strong in Shadows, I think he wouldn't have uh, allowed this to happen in the first place. So, must be something mm -hmm. else. Must be Mandon and Pinch and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work. That's optimistic. <laughs> blood of my blood. Okay. So I think you need the Intrigue one, probably. I don't think there's much chance to win. Oh, actually, there's a decent chance to win power. <laughs> Okay. I don't know what the targets are. Maybe there's the one that discards cards. Um, Jogo. Uh, you can get three claim, uh, two claim intrigue, for instance. But you know what? Super deck's just going to play uh, white swords and get uh, that either that dupe deck back for Barisan or another character. He has that red one straights and two cards in shadows. I mean. It's not, uh, you're not getting rid of enough cards really to be able to leverage the reset. Okay. Well, could try to hit the hand, see what happens. Yeah, we try to do the intimidate guy in.
No, my Sunday still. <laughs> So you have to intimidate Baristan, right? Mm hmm. Hmm, High Tower Knight actually is one of the better cards you can have, so. Parmen yeah, is the King's Guard. Good. The problem is now we are going to get three unopposed again, right? Because uh, one of those cards will just be Mend on Moor. He will, he will even stand with Marjorie's ability. Yeah. I mean, if it's not Robert Strong, which I have to assume that it's not, because why not play it by now? Um, there is Man and Moor, I think, and Pinch, so it has to be one of those cards. Pinch is completely useless, honestly. Just keeps characters... Uh... I mean, okay, they go back to hand where they would go anyway. I mean, Koholo was marshaled. Yeah. You can pinch Koholo, get Katya 2 over reserve. It could be just Knight of Flowers. Because I don't know why we didn't consider that option. <laughs> yeah, it could be Knight of Flowers. I mean, he. Um, there wasn't enough strength to win with him, right? On that military initially. No, um, no, but he will stand the Paristan. Although I think if it's Knight of Flowers, then the Doher is pretty good. Yeah, I think Super Duck will restrain himself a little bit here. I mean, he can do two challenges. Uh, yeah, but wasting six gold is also okay since he's honestly not the best um, on. Well, it is Knight of okay. Flowers and it's going to spend him. Yeah, I think, honestly, that's um, all right for us. He spends this now. We played the Harris. He keeps uh, presumably Baristan and this former champion or maybe even Knight of Flowers. But yeah, it's going to be... Now it's going to be... Uh, the last card going to be Pinch here. I don't think it benefits him to Pinch now. Could try to Pinch something that's in play, like uh, yeah, but still... Devoted Blood Rider. <laughs> I mean, if you then you're then left with Devoted Blood Rider or Alcohol survives as to Harris with Kalas. Yeah, Alcohol survives the Harris. So I don't think pinching is, is does anything. It's just bad for him. But this is going to be so three renown unopposed. It's gonna be really up there with mm. power. Then you have to do Harris, and that means he he knows that you have to, and he'll play white swords and win initiative. Yeah, he might even put a dupe in. I don't know. Mm, probably kill Kota now. Wait, which one? Okay. Devoted, that makes sense as well if you're going to do the Harris, right? Yeah, although if Pinch is now in, in Shadows, you, you pinch Koholo, I think. Sure. Yeah, he's gonna be on 14 actually. Fun. And he'll keep most of it. And going first, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. While well, you try aggroing it with 3 claim and it just rushes anyway into your enamel board. Yeah, I mean, too much dupes, I think. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, did I miscalculate? Yeah, no, it's 14, okay. Yeah. Mm. 
Well, I mean, you have to do Harris, I don't know. <laughs> Unless, can you do another two claimer? But it's still not winning initiative, right? It's not the only place to get two power away from me. I mean, oof. do you do Mars? March to the wall. Yeah. March, Marjorie. And you go first. With that one guy. Well, <laughs> I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, probably not. Bariston can save now as well. Oh, no, if you march Marjorie. Then you might actually march former champion. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Yeah. That sucks. Well, he has Sparman Crane, if nothing else, but I bet he also has a Jamie or something. Yeah, I mean, he can also get rid of um, Baristan and put him back in. Oh, four power, and he's not on the verge of victory. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, he doesn't. Hope it's nothing more than that Parman. Ah, okay. Whatever. They're going to win power for sure, right? Could get the nightmares on their renown. But then what do you do next round <laughs> when the same thing happens? Ah, okay. Duped Marjorie, but another one in hand with no draw. Just. Uh, just stop decking it. Oh, yeah, I can't, honestly. It kind of looks okay with no no golden setup, and um, then you got that, so it's so literally nothing. I don't, I don't think there's anything. I don't know what kind of magic should need to actually win this one. Yeah. It's bad anyway, and then you got just everything on the other side. It's. Difficult to take. Well, Blood Riders back. You have military presence, but that's about it. Sixteen on power. Actually, if Marjorie wasn't there, it's almost enough. But she is there. Yeah. Another yes. high road, but it can't do anything. Doesn't work on defense, the overwhelming numbers. Mm. It can. Reduce the nightmares. <laughs> okay, so if you put Koholo in, then stand him with Miss Sunday. And then defend with everyone. That would be enough. I think you'd have more than 14. Yeah, but um, Marjorie would get... Would she get to 18? Now? Oh, she would get to exactly 18, so even that plan doesn't work, right? Yep. Uh, I just whatever. That's how it is. Hmm. Ah, had me Sunday. It's it's just um yeah, not enough have to anyway. Do that. It doesn't matter because it's not enough. Yeah, it's not enough. Yeah, she gets to 18. That's, I mean, even with the Missandei trick, which actually we messed up anyway because Kohola would need to, to go first, in, yeah. the, in the first action window. Yeah, but. And then if uh, somehow magically she defended this, which she cannot... Uh, <laughs> yeah, he'd do military, which would need to be opposed to win dominance again. I mean, 
I, I think that's actually would be 14 power and then we go again but uh, I mean what happens yeah, in another round? Nothing. Because it's such extreme games in this round because honestly having two Knight of Lovers, two Baristans and three Marjories in just the first 15 cards right? Yeah. It's pretty insane and then I mean honestly we had some luck with our Knight's Watch you had three walls in the first round <laughs> And I don't know, we had that absurd um, misplace in um, Lannister Mirror, and then we had the crazy three times Varys, Last of the Giants combo. Yeah, and uh, kind of, I mean, the Star Crossing game we had. Yeah, the Star Crossing game was the worst game that I had in such a long bad time. Bad luck on our side. Barak Ohor, honestly, playing with no attachments is. I mean, it's ridiculous, and to get to 4-4 against China, I think we've done wonderfully well, actually, uh, with all of those setbacks. So uh, we gave ourselves kind of a 50-50, anything could happen in the best of one, uh, especially with kind of um, not knowing the decks, so we could get uh, a bit lucky. So, um, I don't know, it's... Um, we have the chance, still, even against all of this, and if China survives the the ninth game as well, then okay, good luck to them in the semi-finals, and if we beat them, I think we uh, more than earned it, so uh, yeah, that's it, 4-4 in this one, I can't really show you because it, the um, Jousting Pavilion doesn't, uh, it, it's not the most easy to see when people are not playing the same number of games, so this was the missing one, it was 4-3 before our game, so uh, yeah, uh, I think there's um, one of the Germany France games coming up in half an hour that uh, we might also record actually now. So we we'll say our goodbye here. Uh, okay, bye bye. Thank you for watching and see you next time.